Welcome to this, the first of four short videos introducing the Rhythm of Life venture. During the COVID-19 crisis, we've had to adjust to very different rhythms of life. As Christians, we believe Jesus should be at the heart of our rhythms of life, whatever our circumstances. This will have a far-reaching impact on our own well-being and the good of others, on our loving, living and learning. I would like to invite you to join the diocesan Rhythm of Life venture. This will involve individual commitments, accessing resources and mutual support. Some key areas will be given special attention, praying, encouraging, sharing, reflecting, celebrating, resting and creating. Life is defined by rhythm. Our heart beats and our lungs take in air at regular intervals. We eat, work, rest and sleep in regular patterns. We often do things automatically without thinking about them at all. But when this pervades every part of our life, it can lead to bad habits and even laziness, particularly when it comes to our relationship with Jesus. Our recent experiences of lockdowns have probably exasperated this for many of us too. Ancient monastic orders built in a rhythm and routine of prayer and worship into their everyday lives. In a sense, they lived life and approached their faith deliberately. The Rhythm of Life initiative offers an opportunity to reignite our faith through four basic steps. Number one, taking stock. Setting aside a specific time when you can honestly and methodically take stock of your life and current situation. For some, this might be a painful experience, but in doing so, we can truly open ourselves up to how God would want to alter our rhythms of life to ensure that Jesus is at the centre of everything we do. Number two, making one or more practical commitments. I will be posting three further videos after this, highlighting areas where we might be able to make practical commitments to address our rhythm of life and the areas of praying, encouraging, sharing, reflecting, celebrating, resting and creating. Number three, participating with others. Doing this stuff on your own can be very difficult and it might be helpful to have some accountability with one or more other people that you trust and who would also commit to doing the same thing. If you like, you can ask for advice or post your feelings in the comments section of each video. And number four, reviewing your commitments periodically. This process is not like a New Year's resolution which you make at the beginning of the year and then quickly forget about. It's an ongoing process. You need to revisit your commitments and be honest about how you are doing and whether you need to further reappraise your rhythm of life. There are multiple resources on our website and the Diocese of Leeds website as well to help you through this process and links are in the comments section. Including resources to print off such as a commitment card which you can put in your purse or wallet or use as a bookmark to remind you of the commitments that you have decided to make. In the next video, I'll be talking about making practical commitments under the heading of loving, with ideas to make commitments in relation to praying, encouraging and sharing. In the meantime, I would really encourage you to take the first step in the process and to take stock. I hope to see you very soon. Bye bye.